All right, so let's check out uh, part B. We have the definite integral from 1 to 4, uh, 1 over uh, x and radical 16, x squared minus 5. Uh, this looks like uh, one of those integrals in our table uh, that, in, that, that involves in integrals uh, uh, having inverse uh, trig uh, functions. So this looks like the very last integral uh, that you have a variable, variable squared, and a number squared. So, so we should sort of like catch this pattern because the given integral looks like uh, it's arc secant type uh, integral. So what I'm going to do first is to uh, tackle with the indefinite integral version of this. Okay, so it's 1 over x 16 x squared minus 5 dx. And I'm going to rewrite this as uh, 1 over x, uh, the difference of squares, right? So because that's what the arc secant form was. So this is 4x quantity squared minus uh, radical 5. Uh, quantity squared. Okay, that's our first uh, setup. And I'm going to go ahead and use the substitution because this is going to be our u and then this is going to be our a, right? So I'm going to use the substitution u equals 4x and see what it's going to happen. So du equals uh, 4 dx. So now let's replace this integral by the u version of that. Okay, so uh, don't forget dx here. Okay, and the second line, okay. So dx is uh, one fourth, uh, one fourth uh, du, okay. And x equals, from the, from the u substitution, x equals uh, one fourth u, okay, one fourth u. Again, you're replacing everything by the u version of that, okay, that's, that's the, or of the u substitution, right? And the bottom becomes u squared minus a squared. Okay? Which is good because I'm going to cancel out one fourth at the top and the bottom because they're like terms, right? So now I have a du over u, u squared minus a squared. That's perfect because this is the exact same form that we had uh, in in this uh, table here, right? With uh, you're you're staring at the last uh, formula, so that's one over a arc secant absolute value of u over a plus c. Here we go. So let's go back here and and write this as uh, one over a, so one over radical five arc secant absolute value of uh, 4x divided by a which is radical 5 right plus c okay so that means we're done with the indefinite integration so what we should do is to copy uh, the the final conclusion here without c back to here so that we can use uh, the fundamental theorem of uh, calculus okay so I'm going to copy everything down here and I'm going to use my brackets like the way I do in, in, in the application of uh, fundamental theorem of calculus and place the lower and upper limits of uh, the integral okay and and now I'm going to plug in the upper limits Okay, so one fourth, sorry, one uh, radical, uh, one over radical five, arc secant, uh, four times four is 16, and 16 is a positive number, so this is 16 over five, so I don't need to carry forward the absolute value sign. Uh, minus, let me just continue from here, or, or maybe just rewrite this so that I can save space, right? Minus uh, one over radical five, and then if you play, if you plug in one, arc secant four over five. Okay. All right. At this moment, please uh, have your uh, TI eighty four with you, 
and try punching in one of Radical 5 Arc Seeking 16 over 5. And at this moment, these are not known numbers for Arc Seeking, so probably you're going to rely on to uh, numbers with decimal places. Uh, and also punch in 1 over Radical 5 Arc Seeking 4 over uh, 5 to get something approximately equal to 0 0.091. Okay, I kept the three decimal places and rounded it off. Uh, depending on what the question is asking, uh, you can also add more decimals. Okay, I think uh, that's all it is for part B. Um, we still have part C. Don't forget that. So I'll see you uh, in the next video. Bye.